push up, pull, go back hey everyone long time no see again i feel like that is like my thing lately is that i cannot keep on a schedule regardless you guys have been super patient with me and my channel has still been growing and i thank you so much because i really do appreciate it most of you know if you don't already that i am pregnant and today is actually what i'm 36 weeks and one day along today i don't know how far i'm going to be when you're watching this i am ready to pop and now i know some people you're like oh well don't you have 40 weeks well sometimes my son was actually born at like 36 weeks so i am expecting her to come any day now so i really wanted to do this video before i go into the hospital because even if i even if i do this today and i go into labor tonight or tomorrow i'll at least have something to edit and do while i'm there i've watched a lot of these prepping for this time because my first time around since i didn't know my son was gonna come so early i was not prepared this time i'm ready i'm prepared we have everything done um as you can tell we're in the little nursery now and i have everything ready so that just in case she comes i'm not freaking out like i was the first time the first time i wasn't like mentally freaking out i just had nothing with me so i was like throwing a bunch of stuff that i thought i needed into a bag and like some stuff i used some stuff i didn't i was kind of underprepared because he was so tiny that i didn't even bring i brought like zero to three months stuff i didn't even bring newborn stuff without further ado um this <laughs> This huge duffel bag is actually what we are taking with us to the hospital. Mind you, there are a few things that I do not have packed in here. So like my camera, obviously I'm bringing my camera to the hospital with me um, and some maybe like last minute makeup, but those things that I use on a daily basis, I don't have packed yet, obviously. So I have our stuff in these little um, packing cubes. You can get these from Target, I actually got this, these green ones from Target. Um, you can get them from, I think Walmart has them. I've actually gotten some at TJ Maxx. So you can get them from Amazon. Like you can get them from a bunch of different places. I'll try to link some down below for you guys. They usually come in like a pack of three and they are lifesavers to actually pack in like a suitcase. But they definitely work for this because they help keep my stuff separated. And if I'm going to be asking my husband to grab me anything, at least he'll know <laughs> where to go and like where to find everything so this is actually my husband's bag and I'm not gonna go through this bag cuz you know who it's just my husband's clothes that he's bringing so he's got two pairs of everything in here two pairs of shorts shirts um, socks underwear stuff like that just to bring with him but um he does he is bringing a zip up jacket so like a hoodie but one that zips up just because um, they do recommend and he did it last time with my son where they do skin to skin with daddy and they can like he can like zip her up in his little jacket and have her um on his chest but you're not here for that because most guys aren't watching these videos so i actually have this cardigan i was debating whether or not to bring a robe or a cardigan and i only have two robes and they're like fleece comfy blanket kind of robes for like hardcore like snow you know outside like when it's snowing and you want to be cozy like those are the kind of robes I have so I just brought this like long sleeve cardigan and um the reason I'm bringing this just in case I get cold I've been so hot lately that I doubt it and they said that they'll adjust the room to whatever temperature I want it to be so just in case though I have this or like if I want to go walking around which I did not do at all the first time with my son we didn't leave the room at all I don't know I might might not but I do have a cardigan just in case I'm cold and then this is actually the little bag that I'm bringing for um, my daughter so it's so weird saying that since I have a boy it's weird to think about girly things so this is actually like one of those travel cosmetic cases from TJ Maxx and it is huge and I'm actually going to be using this in my um, diaper bag because I'm not getting a diaper bag I'm using my never full as my diaper bag so this holds so much which is kind of insane so it just opens up and i have this in there and then this there's like two big compartments that hold a bunch of stuff so this you just unravel this and this i may or may not use this but i wanted to bring it just in case it is the like drape like cover that goes over the car seat that you can also do um wrap around you and do breastfeeding and i just thought that this was like the prettiest like little pattern and color ever i love these little like feathers 
but this part goes at the top of the car seat and then um, it goes around it but then you can also like put it around your neck and then like nurse say we have like guests or something come visit us at the hospital I can at least put this on and while I am totally for breastfeeding I don't think everybody needs to see every detail of my body all right so then in this first little zipper compartment I have one burp cloth because they do provide so much stuff at the hospital whether you decide to take it with you or whether you decide to leave it there they give you so much stuff so I know that I will have enough there but I figured just for personal touches I wanted to bring some stuff of my own some stuff for her I have this little one and oh here let's see if the light okay see that so it's got little like feathers they're like little peacock feathers and I just think it's so cute little burp cloth if we don't use it we don't use it but at least I have that in there and then I'm bringing one swaddle blanket they do provide swaddling blankets but the reason I'm bringing my own this time I did not bring my own last time I think I took home I don't know maybe five or seven swaddling blankets from the hospital and I swear we had them forever and I, I they're cute but they're not really like personalized you know they're just like the normal ones from the hospital that everybody gets and I don't want to bring them home this time because I got so many swaddling blankets for my baby shower that I decided that um, I'll use those while we're there but at least to take this one with us that way she's got her own and this one's just got little princess crowns all over it how cute is that then I also decided to pack this because technically the baby is not on board yet <laughs> but that day she will be so I decided to bring that just so I remember to like actually stick it on the car we already have the car seat in the car and like set up and ready just in case but this um, I didn't want to put on yet because I don't know I feel like that's kind of weird I have two little headbands because of course you know since I'm having a girl um, one white one oh, this light is so bright sorry I'll bring it up a little closer so this little white one with a little flower and it's just lacy and then this one is just a little pink bow just a soft pink because these match the outfits that um I packed then I brought two of these um, nursing pads sorry <laughs> two of these nursing pads and I only brought two of them because these are gonna be for the ride home we are I, our hospitals like 25 minutes 30 minutes away roughly so the, we're just coming home right afterwards and I'm not gonna need these necessarily in the hospital so I'm just packing two for me that way I remember I'm actually packing this cute little teddy bear pacifier my son did not use pacifiers at all he never wanted them he never touched them he rejected them in the hospital immediately he didn't want anything to do with them ever so that's why I don't have it opened just in case she doesn't want one but if she does I have one there just in case all right so then in this other pocket right here is where I have her little outfits now I have I don't even know how to explain this so I have a few different outfits and the reason I have so many I want to say I have five outfits in here the reason I have so many is because they are all different sizes so not like they're not like I don't have like six month outfits in here obviously but when I held them up to each other like there are there are like two or three newborn outfits but they're all different like lengths and different like like ones like tiny and ones like longer so the reason I did that just because my son was so small and we didn't have anything that really fit him good on the way home so that's why I'm doing that. I'm bringing two pairs of socks. And there they are. How cute are those? See those? How cute. And they got a little flower on them and they're pink. So I have those. I don't know if I'll put them on her. I mean, it is June right now and it's like crazy hot outside. So I don't even know if she'll wear socks. And then I brought one pair of little mittens. Once again, my son did not ever use these. His nails took so long to grow in that he never needed them because he didn't scratch his face or anything. I might use those. Outfit number one. So these little pink capris and then this little tiny giraffe shirt. But it's like so skinny or like, I guess like more fitted. So that's why I'm bringing that one. That one is a newborn outfit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a newborn outfit. Then the second one I have is also a newborn, but like I said, when I held it up to this other outfit, it was a little bit bigger. I don't know why, because all this stuff runs so different. Even if it says newborn or zero to three months, they're all so different. So these are the little pants, these like little rainbow stripe pants. 
and then this cute shirt that says no paparazzi please and I love that outfit I think it's so cute so a lot of people think that um, when you're there in the hospital you're gonna be changing your baby all the time and putting so many outfits on them and stuff when in reality they they have the little shirts there they have the diapers there they're constantly checking the baby so you really don't need to change them and put them in onesies because it makes it harder they give you like this little I don't know like a little cardigan I guess for the baby that they're kind of in like it's like a t-shirt cardigan thing and like buttons on the side but it doesn't go over the diaper I was like well I probably won't even be changing her that much but for whatever reason if I do or if I want to take pictures then I will so then I have this I brought two sleepers so this one is a three month sleeper because just in case I have a big baby um, I decided to at least have something so this says little sister and then it's just got like the little ballerina slippers at the bottom it's so cute like I just I can't get over how cute girl clothes are and then I have one more sleeper and this is a newborn sleeper so like I said I'm just trying to be prepared from all angles Honestly, she's probably only gonna go in one of these outfits on the way home, and that's about it. So this is the newborn sleeper, it's just little ducks. And I think, yep, there's little duck faces for the feet, and then just little ducks and little hearts, and it's super cute. And then this is the last outfit I'm bringing, and I was actually required by someone at my baby shower to bring this. I don't even know if she's gonna be watching this video. She got this specifically for going home outfits, so, if it fits her, it is a little newborn dress. It's kind of like unicorn colors is what it reminds me of. But it's a little newborn dress. So if she fits into it, I'm definitely going to put her in this to take her home. If not, I'll at least take pictures of her if it's too big. And like I said, all that stuff just fits super nicely into here. I don't know if I'll be able to find this online to link it. I will try to. But like I said, I got it at TJ Maxx. And I got it, I think, in like November last year because... I just had a feeling I was having a girl, so I was like, I wanna go ahead and get that now. This is my bag, so also in another packing cube. These are the um, clothes and stuff I am bringing with me. So I was watching this girl, and she was talking about if you're walking around to bring um, like slippers or something with you, and I was like, well, I doubt I'll walk around. I didn't the first time. So I doubt that I'm actually gonna walk around this time. But they were talking about bringing fuzzy socks for the hospital because the hospital gives you fuzzy socks. Your feet tend to get cold sometimes when you're um, in labor. So I brought huge fuzzy socks and then I brought like normal fuzzy socks. These ones are so fluffy. But I was like, I'll bring two just in case because last time with my son I was in labor for like 21 hours. So just to have some socks. Then I brought this dress that I actually found at Target and I was super excited for this because it's on sale for $8. So this is the dress. It is not a maternity dress. This is just a normal, whatever, normal summer dress. And it goes up like this, but this is so easy to like <laughs> pull apart, but like to take down. So if I'm nursing, I can either use this as like a nightgown or I can wear this as my going home outfit. Cause I haven't decided yet with my son, I did not change until the day I went home. I stayed in the hospital gown. I stayed in like the mesh underwear that they give you. I just used all their stuff because it was there to use and clearly like you're paying for it even though like your insurance, like you're still, you're paying for all that stuff. So I just stayed in it. I actually have this nursing tank, which most likely is what I'll be wearing home. But like I said, I. I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing that dress or not while I'm in the hospital but when you have people visit you it's kind of awkward to be in a hospital gown which I found out last time and cuz you just kind of feel like I don't know like exposed I guess so I brought this tank top even if I you know I'm only just sitting down and I have like the hospital gown or the blanket on me but it's just a regular black tank top and it's a nursing tank I think I got this at Burlington um, coat factory and it was like $6.99. I didn't even know they had stuff there like that, but they came with like free nursing pads that are like washable. So that was pretty cool. Then I brought two nursing bras. I, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna wear them in there or not. Like I said, with being exposed and stuff with the um, hospital gowns, I might be more comfortable like with the hospital gown on and then one of these underneath. I got this one that is technically like I think it said like it was like a sleeping nursing bra so like it's meant for like 
it's more comfortable for overnight there's no padding there's no wires there's no kind of not really support but it's comfortable and it kind of keeps you held in a little bit and then I just got this regular black it just looks like a sports bra this is also a nursing bra but this one has like a little more support it's got like the straps that adjust and everything and it's a little more fitted whereas this one's just like a t-shirt kind of and then brought two pairs of underwear but you don't need to see those I've seen a lot of people recently when I was watching videos that they're like oh I don't want to be put in pants and I don't want to be put in stuff that's constricting on my way home and I just want to wear a dress and I'm like I'm going home afterwards so I can like just be in a nightgown once I get home but part of me kind of does want to be a little constricted in my stomach I brought a pair of leggings and these are just like capri leggings or whatever just bunch of different fun colors but they're kind of high-waisted so they'll hold me in a little bit more and then this t-shirt but I might be just wearing the tank top home without the t-shirt but just our church run t-shirt it's like one of those athletic like feeling shirts in case <laughs> this might be a long shot but I've really missed my shorts because I have been hating wearing maternity shorts but um, with my son my stomach went down pretty quickly when we left the hospital, like I didn't have a whole lot there. I know some people, um, it still kind of looks like you're a little pregnant like the day you leave. So I don't know how I'm gonna be this time with her, but brought a pair of shorts just in case. I don't know, maybe we'll go eat or go get something. I don't know, because I remember the morning that we left the hospital with my son, it was like so hectic. I don't even remember if we ate anything until we left. So we might end up stopping somewhere. Not really sure. <laughs> like I said, long shot, but I wanna try it anyway. But I brought this because I don't have a postpartum belly band, but this goes all the way up to like right underneath where your bra would sit. So it would kind of hold you in a little bit. And I want to try to get back into shape. Obviously I can't work out the day, you know, I have my kid, but um, I wanna help kind of like get a lot of that sucking back in so I brought that now I have this little bag so this is one of them that came with the green one from Target and I just have our toiletries in here I was going to pack like separate baggies for our toiletry stuff like one for my husband one for me but then I'm like you know what if we're gonna be there together it doesn't really make a difference all of this is falling out so I'll just and that fell so I brought two loofahs the other one's on the floor and I'm not gonna go bend down and reach for it, but I brought one for me, one for him. I think it was like 99 cents or 98 cents for two of them because they, I think that they give you like those little washcloths. I can't wash my body with washcloths. I don't know how people do that. I can wash a baby with washcloths, but I cannot wash myself with a washcloth. I have to have like a fluffy loofah. Um, I got this two pack of toothbrushes just so that one, we're not running around and going crazy the day that we leave for the hospital. We just have two ready for us. That way we're, we're good to go. I have a travel deodorant for my husband. And then I got like a little travel size deodorant for me. I got these um, makeup remover wipes just in case because I don't know if we're gonna be out and say I'm like full face makeup, I'm gonna wanna take it off. I'd rather make sure my face is not completely disgusting. Then I brought some Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub for the shower or for overnight body wash for my husband, it's also Old Spice. He uses body wash as shampoo. A lot of guys do that, drives me crazy, but whatever, so he's good with this. Shampoo and conditioner, both suave. And see, these were 99 cents a piece too, which I think is kind of crazy, because these are decent sized, right? Like, they're kind of big. In case we are out and I am wearing contacts that day, I have an extra little contacts lens case and then um, some contact solution. I didn't want to bring my giant bottle, so I just grabbed my little travel size one that I already had. Then I got this little pack of flosses. My husband is a huge flosser. I feel like I should be more of a flosser, but I'm not. But I can always use some floss. So brought that. Toothpaste, travel size toothpaste. Chapstick, which seriously is something you do not want to forget. Your lips get so chapped in there in the hospital. Have you seen that thing on Facebook where it's like, I took my bedroom chapstick to my car and then I left it in there and then I had to use my purse chapstick in my bedroom and now my whole life's messed up. That's how I feel about the chapstick because I have some in my purse, in my car, in my room, in the bathroom, like we have chapstick everywhere. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget that. I have a little bottle of hand sanitizer because as much as hospitals are filled with hand sanitizer, I'm not huge on the smell of those ones. So I brought my own 
And then I brought a headband just in case. You get very sweaty when you're going into labor. When you're giving birth, it gets pretty sweaty and pretty gross. And sometimes you just need to pull your hair out of your face and not worry about what you look like. I also put in a pair of flip flops. So these ones um, match my going home outfit. They're just like a light blush pink. They match my going home outfit if I do wanna wear them with it. But at the same time, if I decide to walk around the hospital or if I need shower shoes, got some flip flops. Then I also decided to pack in some magazines that I have not opened or read yet. So these are each a two pack, but I figured, you know, this will be some reading material in case I'm bored or if my husband's bored or if my mom is sitting up there with us, like we'll have something to read. A little baggie of um, prenatal vitamins because I still want you to take them while you're in there. A pack of gum, brand new pack of gum. And this is like the best gum ever. It's dentine pure and it's like um, mint with melon accents and it is my favorite gum. For like five or six like Walmart baggies, you know, like the bags that you get at like Target and Walmart and stuff. And the reason I packed those is because I was watching this girl and she made such a good point that she put those in there because one, if I decide to use my own underwear while I'm in there, which I haven't decided if I'm going to or not, the reason they give you mesh panties while you're in there is because you could seriously be like a huge mess after giving birth and I, if any of my stuff gets destroyed or if it gets wet or if it gets gross I want to be able to put it in baggies and especially like if we're out like say I'm at the mall and my water breaks then those clothes are going to be kind of disgusting so I'd rather put them in like little baggies instead of like getting everything else messed up and gross that's it it's all empty so that's stuff I'm bringing with me. Like I said, there's like, I'm gonna be obviously bringing like my hairbrush and my comb and um, my camera and some stuff like that. But that's like last minute stuff. I don't have any of it packed right now and that's the stuff I'm gonna be grabbing on the way to the hospital or on the way to the car, technically, I guess if you wanna get technical. Let me know what you guys think. What did you use that you didn't think you were gonna use? Or what did you not use that you thought you were gonna use? You know what I'm saying. Plus, I'm bringing my purse, like my normal everyday purse. I'll be having that with me, which has my glasses case in it for my regular glasses. It has like my ID stuff and all that other stuff with me. So that's why I don't have any of that stuff in here because all of that is actually in my purse and I will be bringing my purse separately too. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope maybe this helped you out. I will try to link some things down below if I can find any of these things, but a lot of stuff was kind of all over the place or at like, places like TJ Maxx and stuff where you kind of can't really link it because it's not there all the time. It's whatever they get is what they get. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Please leave a like. Give this video a thumbs up because it deserves it. And yeah, I'll see you when I see ya. I will see you guys next time. Bye.